Well, for more on those devastating floods, I'm joined by Monica Cedrato, a food and travel blogger who's based in Venice. Well, good evening to you. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us on the programme. Well, as we were just saying a few moments ago, Venice does have a history of flooding. Uh, but how different were the floods this time around? Well, I would say, I would have uh, compare it to this. Uh, um, snow always comes down on mountains and people always go skiing and then all of a sudden you have an avalanche. Uh, this was happening in Venice. Uh, we have high waters on a regular basis during the winter months, but this wasn't just a normal high water. This was a, an exceptional event. It was something amazing that happened very quickly. I think it's the speed practically that was what uh, concerned everybody. It just happened in a matter of hours when generally we know well in advance if it's going to be that high. So that's what was so weird and strange. OK, and if, you, if you're describing this, obviously, as an exceptional event, how are people getting over this? How damaged are people's livelihoods following these floods? Well, the more I talk to friends, uh, the things are getting worse and worse. Uh, I heard of people that lost uh, their homes completely because they had actually the furniture uh, floating. Uh, I have uh, many friends that have restaurants that uh, literally have lost uh, all the fridges, the ovens, uh, the dishwashers. Uh, I have friends that are artisans and literally lost everything, all the products. Uh, things are much worse, I think, uh, you know, what, what people are seeing. It's not just a question of, OK, it's the water when you clean it up. There is a lot of damage to equipment, uh, to the materials that people need to use for their businesses. It's just really, really, really bad. Uh, and Venice has a troubled uh, history, let's say, when it comes to tourism in the city. Um, are tourists now coming back to Venice? Because in some respects, they will help prop up the economy. Yes, I just hope they come with the right state of mind. Because if they're coming just to take selfies like they've been doing in the last few hours, that it was the most incredible thing that... Uh, they were still having boats full of tourists uh, dropping down on the city at the moment where the actual uh, the people were trying to, you know, on their knees and crying and trying to pick up themselves. Uh, so I thought that was very, very strange. We hope that they come back with a right state of mind, as in meaning to actually invest in the city, to invest in the local artisans, and to invest into the local shops. But I will give them... I will give a city a few days. Uh, Venetians are known for being very resilient people, but they still need time to build themselves up again. OK, a city needing time to recover. Well, Monica Cesarato, thanks so much for joining us on the programme.